Thanks, uh, uh, Paul. I'm just going to go back to some, some stuff I was I've been saying to, to to you and to many others over the last few months about NHS test and trace. Yes, of course, uh, a new operation like this, uh, you know, is going to have teething problems and difficulties, and, no, and, and there's no doubt that it uh, that it has. Uh, and of course, people have been uh, frustrated sometimes by the service that uh, uh, they've gotten. Uh, I, I recognise that, of course I do. But look at what it is now achieving, a, five, a capacity of 500,000 uh, tests per day. It's conducting hundreds of thousands of, uh, of tests and uh, 37 million tests have now been done, more than any other European country. And, you know, you're right to raise the issue of um, collaboration with local authorities, that's integral to what, what, what we're doing, what NHS Test and Trace is doing. I think there are 198, uh, something like 198 local authority teams. And as we go forward, uh, the, the work of local authorities and others, uh, you know, we've, we've mentioned that the armed services, uh, uh, Public Health England and so on, will be, will, be, will be crucial. I just want to stress, you say, you know, is it value? It's of such importance and such value. Uh, because uh, the, the, uh, if we don't have it, we can't know where the disease is prevalent in the way that we do. We have fantastic granular detail, which enables us to have this tiering system, this regional uh, focused, uh, locally focused tiering system uh, that we've got. And uh, it enables people who have symptoms to get a test and find out uh, whether they've got it or not, and thereby to take themselves out of circulation. That's absolutely crucial. And what we, well, the point we're trying to make to this evening is that you know we can see the the the, the light in the at the, end, at the end of the tunnel, but we we're not there yet. Uh, we can see the oasis, but there's a there's a long way to go. I mean, I mix my uh, my seasonal metaphors. Uh, it, it, it's it's a uh, there will be hard months ahead. We're going to rely very much on uh, on testing and and tracing. And we're going to wrap that up. And uh, the, the PCR testing is invaluable. The, the lamp tests in uh, NHS, NHS settings is also absolutely crucial to drive down uh, infections in hospitals. Nosocomial infections have played such a part in the, uh, in the spread of the disease uh, in the spring. And of course, there's the whole uh, lateral flow testing, the rapid turnaround tests that I also think can be of great, great value. Now, it would be a huge mistake now for us to uh, to, to de-emphasize testing at this at this crucial moment. If anything, we want to put more emphasis on testing. Encourage people uh, to get a test. If, get a test if you have symptoms. Get a test in your community if it's a high prevalence area and help to to squeeze the disease. Uh, on Christmas, the um, thing I, I would add um, uh, uh, to what others have said is. Uh, it is pretty obvious, I think, to anybody that the Christmas holiday period, the loosenings around that, which I think everyone welcomes as an ability for families to come together and all the things that go with uh, the, the winter, uh, winter period, uh, we all know that that is going to come at a risk. Uh, and the amount of risk of it in, depends on really three things. How seriously people stick to the tears and uh, uh, before we go into Christmas, making sure we keep the numbers keeping on coming down or stabilised at a low level, that people over Christmas take the opportunities but take them incredibly responsibly. And then they're coming out of the Christmas period. Again, people take this next period, which the Prime Minister has talked about, the period out to spring, incredibly seriously. And again, we are very, very uh, mindful of the fact that if we start breaking all the rules, then we are putting other people at risk at a point of the year when these viruses transmit most easily and when the NHS is under greatest pressure. So it is absolutely essential. People are really serious about this. In terms of putting a number on it, to be honest, I wouldn't put a number on it because if people do all those things very seriously, we will have much less impact from Christmas whilst people are still being able to enjoy it than if people choose to actually... Uh, take a, a, a very much less public spirited approach to it uh, and go go wild over that, that period. And so I think what we really need to do is we need to say, look, if everyone is serious before, during and after, then we can minimise the amount of impact it'll have. Of course, it will have an impact and that's accepted. And this is all part of the balance of having to keep the virus under control, but trying to do so in the way that is the least socially and economically damaging. It's a very difficult balance as we all know, for which there is no perfect answer. It's trying to get the balance as best we can between these competing difficulties. Thanks so much. Thanks, Paul. Let's go to talk with Crichton, the Daily Record. 
Uh, good evening, Prime Minister. Uh, what is the score of the Christmas holidays? Uh, final agreement seems to be stuck in a kind of no man's land between you and the devolved governments. Nicola Sturgeon wants a small number of people to meet for a small number of days, fewer days than you perhaps. Is the devolved tail wagging the Westminster dog here? And what are the chances of a bit of peace and goodwill between the two of you? Well, Torquay, I think there's, uh, as ever, the, uh, the absence of peace and goodwill is grossly overstated by uh, those who might have uh, you know, reasons to, to do so. Actually, there's a, a very good discussion going on between uh, the, the, us and the, and the DAs about how to do this. It obviously has relatives in all parts of the, of the country, and we want to make sure we have a, a solution for Christmas that uh, everybody uh, can, can share uh, and understand and, and respect throughout the whole of the UK. Um, but, you know, to get to your, your characterization, you know, sm uh, I mean, everybody shares your, your caution. Uh, we want to, we want people to be able to celebrate, but uh, we don't want to to ruin it by by overdoing it. So uh, you know, I think there's a there's a there's a, a wide measure of agreement about that, and I think you could probably expect uh, some news about the way forward pretty pretty soon. Talk well. Okay, everybody. Unless there's anything anything that uh, anybody wants to add, I think. Prime Minister, just add on that last yes, one. Sorry. My my um, I I have the privilege of working very closely with my office in number chief medical officer.